So over the years, I've tried every single charting software that you can think of and TradingView came up as the best. So in this video, I'll show you four tricks that you need to know if you're going to use it for day trading and investing. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So for this video, we're going to be using the TradingView desktop app. If you haven't downloaded it yet, you should do it right now. Just go to TradingView slash desktop and you should be able to download it. There's a massive difference between using the web version and also the desktop. I just feel like the desktop has smaller bezel so you're able to fit more stuff on your screen and I'll show you more details about that later in this video. So now that you downloaded the app, the first thing you're going to see is that it's synced whatever you had online into the application. So all your setting customization should be linked and it's really good because this is what you want. So going back to the application, the first thing you realize is that now you have a border. This might not be red for you, but if you want to sync it to a color, this is the first thing we're going to do. So right now we can see that we can remove it and we can also create a new window. So if you want to create a new layout, you can go over here, create new layout, and it's going to open a brand new page with what is your default setting. Something I prefer to do is go back into the page I have customized. And what I do over here is just open this, make a copy, rename it. We're going to keep it as trading copy. And now you're going to have twice of these layout. By the way, at any point during the video, don't forget to check out the links in description. I did link all the best tools for day trading and investing. And also while you're here, don't forget to like, subscribe. Let's get back to the video. So now that you have two copies of your layout, the first thing you're going to want to do is make one smaller. And after that, move this one over here. So you can see now that these are going to be able to be on different screens. So if you're using multiple monitors, like I'm doing, it's very nice to have it on your main monitor and then on your side. And something that changed with TradingView about maybe a year ago is that now you can actually link these with the color that was previously linked. And this means that if you change a ticker over here, as we can see, now it's going to change it on both of these screens. So this is really good when you want to have one maybe on a daily chart and the other one on the intraday. You're able to do this on multiple different screen and then be able to just change it with once and it's going to change everywhere. So when I was using different charts, it's always something that kept me with the other companies just because I wasn't able to do that with TradingView. But now that we can, it's really nice to have because I really think that when it comes to layout and also how to maneuver these charts, it's definitely the best out there. So going back to this chart, there's something else that I need to show is that over here, you can select multiple charts. So maybe you want to have three, maybe you want to have two. And what you absolutely need to do is go over here. And then at the bottom, you can say sync symbol. At least everything is going to be synced between all of these charts. So let's go back to this one. We can see now that everything is sync across. If this is not done, what's going to happen is that it's only going to move the one that is selected. So let's put this way, only going to move one and this one is not going to change. So something that you want is just link the symbol together. And after that, everything is going to be good when you change it. So moving on to the next important trick. When you're using trading view, you can see that these have massive border and it's this one thing that I wish they fixed. So the temporary fix that I found out about trading view is that you can go on your keyboard and put control and the plus key to zoom it in if you want to have a bigger zoom maybe you're using a 4k monitor or you can go control minus and have it really zoomed out to really really small so i like sometimes to use it at 70 percent and then i go into my settings and then what i do over here is just increase the font of the sidebar over here so now you're able to have more on your chart let's zoom it back a bit maybe add something around the 20 and here we go now you have a lot more that can fit on a chart you can zoom it to four and sometime when you have a lot of things that you want to watch it's just a better thing to do than having to have these big chart that are really zoomed in and it's you want to just keep it on a monitor that's sometime a little narrow like my vertical ones so moving on to the next trick and this one is going to be really 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 important so sometime trading view like anything is gonna lag when there's too much data coming in but there's a few things that you can do to really help it be the fastest as possible and these are going to be little things that you need to do quite often the first thing you will need to do is go over here and then just click on your profile 
and then just go into app settings. When this is open, there's one thing that you need to do. You're going to need to go into service and you're going to need to go clear cache. This is going to be really important. It's just going to clear all the memory that is being used or just that it was saved for the application. So it's going to just clear it. It's going to save your settings, but this will make it lighter and have to sync less data. The next thing you want to do is also disable this. Right now, you can see it's click. You want to disable it. When it's done, the difference is going to do is just the lag speed of your indicator or your font. So if I don't do this, when I type in, let's say another ticker, the indicator are sometimes going to come in two, three seconds later, or there's going to be some massive delay into the loading of the chart. When I remove this on my computer, it just makes it so much faster and it really helps it when I have a lot of charts open at the same time. And I know it's a little trick or just a little thing, but sometimes little things make the big difference. So I forgot to mention something really important while recording this video. So this is why I'm doing this now. So as we can see on a chart like this, I have an indicator and I'm trying to get trading view as fast as possible. Something I realized is that when you have your opacity, so over here we can see this is opacity at 100%, but when you put it at something like 65 or 50 or anything that's not 100%, it gets a little laggy. It's not all the time. I'm not sure if it's exactly that, but me and a few other traders realize that when you have a lot of stuff that are not full opacity, it can get sometimes a little laggy. And it's the same thing for the pre-market and the post-market data. I don't know why exactly, but it's something I realized. So if you're trying to just make it as fast as possible, it's important to just remove the pre and the post market color just to make it a little quicker and also the same thing for your indicator. So if you do both of these things, you should get trading view as fast as possible. And while you're here, don't forget to check out the links in the description if you're looking for the best tool for day trading and investing. Let's get back to the video. So the last thing we're going to do is just show you a little trick when it comes to indicator. Right now, we can see that when I'm on daily chart, I have only the Bollinger Band. I use sometimes the moving average on different chart, but for my main one, I use Bollinger Band just so I can see the extension to the upside or to the downside. So over here, we can see that I can click on one indicator and then I can go into visibility. This is going to allow me to choose the indicator on which time frame that I want to see it. So let's say I don't want to see it when it's on the minute chart and you can also select how long, how many minutes you want. But for now, I'll just remove it completely. And when I click something on a five minute, it's not going to show the indicator. This is what it is or what I have for VWAP. Right now we can see if I click VWAP, I have it only until the five minute chart. If I go to a 15, I don't have this indicator. So it's just better or easier for me to have one chart with the indicator that I need when I need to see them versus having way too many indicator on the shorter time frame when I don't need it or the longer time frame when I need them. So it always annoys me. And by the way, if you got value from this video, don't forget to check out the links in the description. I did link all the best tools for day trading and investing. 